Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to configure Jacoco for your Spring Boot application. Code coverage is an important metric for any development project. It calculates how much code has been covered through your automation tests. Either it's unit, integration, selenium or even manual testing also you can calculate. For this example, I am going to show you uh, how to configure Jacoco to your Spring Boot application plus how to publish them into your Jenkins. For this example, you can clone source code from this uh, URL. Once you clone into your Eclipse, you can see this and go to the pom.xml in the pom.xml you have a tag called build so in the build section you have to add a java jacoco maven plugin jacoco jacoco maven plugin has multiple executions uh, like preparation report and then this so here what it is doing is like prepare agent goal will start preparing for the uh, to calculate the coverage and then this test phase after running the unit test it generates the reports so where it generates the reports it generates into exec file which is in target slash jacoco exec so and then once we it generate the reports that reports is going to generate in this uh, folder okay in order to generate the reports, you need to run verify or install because this report is generating on post unit test, sorry, post test phase. So that means you have to ver run verify or install. Now, what I'm going to do is right click run as, run configurations, and generally you will use Maven. And here I use clean verify and run it so it runs the test cases that's fine I ignored the failed test cases so your build will not fail uh, it will run around 17 test cases and it one case will fail so after that after the running the test cases see the test cases execution is completed after that the report has been started and now uh, the analyzed total this one so where the verify run on package okay so now in this target you have the refresh so there are a couple of folders it is generated it is generating jacoco ut so that you are going to open in index.html right so chrome so now you see how much percentage that has been covered so total has been covered nine percentage of your total code with those 17 test cases that has been executed okay so that's how you calculate code coverage in the spring boot using jacoco now we'll see how to publish the same report into Jenkins also Jenkins in order to publish the Jacoco reports you should add in a plugin that plugin can be installed by going to Maven Jenkins manage plugin available search for Jacoco and this job build has been plugin has been displayed so check on it install without restart and then it's going to install your plugin once the installation is completed you can go back to the dashboard and you can create a new item and you can give this source code as the gate and then you can give this URL and then the master that we are talking about and then go to the build section use invoke top level targets from this one okay top level maven targets and here you choose either m3 
so that is also fine or uh, default then goals is clean verify in the post build action what you need to do is you need to publish uh, your jacoco report by using record jacoco coverage report okay so now here you can add uh, like target and then double slash exec so what it needs is exec file okay so just give the default things and then run once save and then build now once the execution is completed you can go to that build and you can check overall coverage summary here and also if you click on coverage report you can see the individual breakdown by package so you can see all the reports here and even if you go to the class and the name of the methods how much covered you can see that here so this is not covered that minute level information you can get it from uh, this report now this is a Jenkins freestyle job and the same configuration how to do it for a pipeline job we'll see for this we need to do go to the Jenkins file and open this and then replay so that you can get the code and here in this code in the post build section you have success whenever it is success what i want to do is i want to print the job coco so what you need to do is you need to add your coco like this okay so it will take the default values and control c and then control a v run so then now it will execute and then it will publish the report okay so meanwhile we'll see uh, if you don't if you want to override the default values you want to give the different values how that jenkins pipeline code has to be updated so uh, for this if you you don't remember everything right that's why what these guys has done is they have given some sample uh, syntaxes so that you can just i'm creating a new pipeline job and here you go to here and then pipeline syntax if you click on this here the sample steps it will show you all the sample steps for us and then go to record where is this yeah coco record jaco coverage report here you see this is the default uh, data right so if you click on generate pipeline scripts this is the code that we just added so instead of that let's say uh, i want to uh, run uh, let's say fail uh, 10 percent okay or uh, of the build is uh, like instruction is 10 percent or uh, percentage branch is 10 percent if it is changed like if it is more than that uh, it has to mark it as unstable okay or you can disable the display of source files or you can change the location of your uh, source directories okay path to the class directories you can exclude any text classes okay so let's say if i do this that means that uh, test classes will not be part of your report okay all these changes you can do and generate pipeline report so you have to copy this line to your uh, Jenkins file and you have been executing right so you can go back and then check yeah here this is the one now the execution is completed uh, At the end what it is doing it's publishing Jacoco report see it is publishing and how it will look like the same uh, way how we have seen for freestyle job okay and you can see coverage report also yeah